As we're saying, John, this could be a hell of a bad two weeks. This is going to be a very bad two and maybe even three weeks. This is going to be three weeks like we haven't seen before. Should the hospitals be prepared for that? Uh, we were here well, I think the hospitals... That they're facing what looks like a medical war zone. In some yeah, of these they, they are going to be facing a war zone. That's what it is. Uh, I've, heard, I've heard some of the paramedics and some of the doctors, they said they weren't, they've been in war zones. They've, been, they've never seen anything like this. You look at Elmhurst Hospital in Queens, I've never seen. I mean, I look, I just think it's so, because that's a hospital that's near where I grew up. And it's, it is a war zone. Should Americans be prepared for the likelihood that there will be 100,000 Americans who die from this virus? The, the answer is yes. We need, as, as, as sobering a number as that is, we should be prepared for it. Is it going to be that much? I hope not. And I think the more we push on the mitigation, the less likelihood it would be that number. Were you surprised when you saw all these projections? The numbers are sobering. They're very sobering, yeah. When you see 100,000 people, that's at a, and that's at a minimum number. Now, what we're looking at, and as many people as we're talking about, whatever we can do under that number and substantially under that number, we've done that through really great mitigation. We've done that through a lot of uh, very dedicated American people. And I watched as doctors and nurses went into a certain hospital in Elmhurst this morning. I know Elmhurst, Queens. That's, I grew up right next to it. I know the hospital very well. been seeing it all my life, my young life. And I will tell you that uh, to see the scenes of trailers out there and uh, what they're doing with those trailers, they're freezers, and nobody could even believe it. And I spoke to some of my friends. They can't believe what they're seeing. And I watched the doctors and the nurses walking into that hospital uh, this morning. It's like military people going into battle, going into war. Look, we had the Civil War. We lost 600,000 people, right? Here's the thing. Had we not done anything, we would have lost many times that. But we did something. And so it's going to be hopefully way under that. But, you know, we lose more here, potentially, than you lose in world wars as a country. So there's nothing positive. There's nothing great about it. But I want to give people in this country hope. 